Hello everyone and welcome back. You're tuned in to the Underwater Rugby Channel broadcasting live from Mulheim, Germany. This will be the final EuroLeague match of Saturday between uh, Beta and Flipper. Let me introduce to you now in blue or purple for Beta wearing number three Chihan Kipir. <laughs> Number six, Yuri Boyko. <laughs> Number eight, Sergei Leonov. <laughs> Number ten, Hakan Togar. And a captain, wearing number 11, Victor Kriloff. <laughs> number 12, Ilya Azorov. <laughs> number 13, Tommy Swamalainen. <laughs> number 15, Jim Hobeck. Number 16, Alexander Bakanov. <laughs> Number 17, Yuho Alto. <laughs> Number 70, Riku Rikunen. <laughs> Number 90, Yari Hobakorpi. And in reserve, number four, Samari Yusila, number nine, Anton Chuzin, and number 33, Alexei Pryaznikov. <laughs> On the other side of the pool, wearing white, four flipper, number two, Simon Schaefer. <laughs> number four, Tor Lucky Punk. Number 10, Kim Eastbury. <laughs> Number 13, Philip Munt. <laughs> Number 14, the captain, Mikhail Rasmussen. <laughs> Number 15, 
number 15, Bjorn Andersen. Number 17, Philip Lauritsen. Number 20, Tim Jensen. Number 21, Jonas Fuchs Borsen. Number 23, Richard Lado Grove. Number 25, Sigurd Grevit Dietrichsen. Number 28, Bastian Davidson. And in reserve, number one, Henry Kuss, and number seven, Martin Shellgord. The team is coached by Mikkel Rasmussen and Tim Jensen. And the referees this match on deck, Birgit Ludke. And in the water, Kaiser Lindman and Manuel Tito de Moras. Welcome back to live broadcasting from Mulheim in Germany. This is Euroleague's round two, round two, first day's last match. It's Beta in blue, Flippe from Denmark in white. Um, it's gonna be, we've seen these two, two uh, teams playing today. Um, Beta won Police and 4 1 in match number four. And um, Flipper took Malmo 3 nil. So they have both won. It was they are two teams, really physical teams, really dynamic, strong rugby teams. It is going to be really interesting to see how it's going to be between the two. The final match and definitely one of the most interesting ones during today. I'm commentating here. My name is Jani Mäkinen, and now I got my uh, senior advisor here with me, <laughs> Mr. Davril Tien. I've just said to the audience that this co this is going to be an extremely interesting game. Yeah, of course. Uh, strong players on both sides. It's going to be really physical. I think it's going to be something similar we we saw earlier with. Uh, with uh, Flipper and Malmo game, uh, also the way Molde played against Krefeld, so, something you know, some elements you know of these top teams. Well, uh, uh, we said that we were going to go out to dinner, but mm. they, they asked us to, as soon as the game is over, we have to take a shower, get out. But we can't really say how long this game will last. There could be a lot of penalties. It could, certainly. This, this could be. Uh, Stopped. I, th I think there's gonna be. Let's count. I will count all the uh, free throws because I think this is a sort of game that will see a lot of free throws. You're right. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be maybe more than 25 in the game. I hope maybe. not. I hope well, not because it yeah. it's gonna take time if it's yeah. gonna be like that. And I, it's not so nice to watch. No. For the audience either. But, but anyhow, I got a feeling that there is gonna be. How did you know about this? What? That this would be this kind of game with a lot of free throws. Well, I just thought it. You're, it's gonna you're be like right. That. Of course. I, I see some I people... I don't know yet. Let's see. 
who are tuning in, you know, and they're mm -hmm. watching, and they're all sitting smiling mm -hmm. because they say, yeah, this could be very entertaining. Mm -hmm. And What's the end result? Beta or Flipper? Who's going to take it? Oh, good, good question. Uh, first of all, we don't really know about this beta team now that they have taken on Hakan, uh, uh, Togar, and Chihan. I'm sure the goal difference is small. I say it's 3-2 thri uh, to, to Flipper. That's my guess. It could be a 1-0 game. And could uh, be. Yep. What do you say? 3-2 I say for Flipper. Uh, what do I say? Uh, it's a good question. I think it could go to 0-0 zero, zero and penalty shootout. Okay, good. So we have a... But one of the things is, you, you know, Chihan Kipir, he really loves to score. And... Uh, He's going to be trying, and at the same time, the we saw Simon Schaefer, the guy can score out of you know by himself. He mm -hmm. just needs to get by the goal, mm -hmm. so it's difficult to to say. It could be one-one and penalty shootout. Okay, so um, so I changed my prediction to one-one penalty shootout. One-one penalty shootout. Okay. All right. That is uh, free throw number one. What? <laughs> <laughs> So it's free throw for uh, Flipper. And we didn't start exactly at 9 o'clock either. Well yeah, it's going to be a late, late yeah. course. Nice. I like the way he swam one direction and turned around and swam the other direction. For the audience in Moscow, for Beta home base, it's already quite getting late. I think it's like like three hours time difference, isn't it? Well, one hour to, to so it's midnight already in Moscow. Sweden and one more hour to Finland and one more hour to Moscow. Three hours. Yeah. We have 110 viewers on live at this point. Well, thank you wa for watching. They, they flippers set up a screen here, but they backed out. It won't be just uh, mayhem and penalties. They're thinking about ways to mm -hmm. effectively block out the other Certain. team and score. They'd yeah. And, and my free throw again, really aggressive wrestling there on the surface. Yeah. Free throw white. Free throw white. Team. My experience is that uh, beta they like to scrum on the surface, mm -hmm. and then typically like Victor Kudov will take the ball from enter the scrum or take it out from the scrum, mm -hmm. and then pass it quickly to a goal scorer right. who strikes from above. Mm -hmm. But this is not a secret to Flipper. Mm -hmm. Flipper knows mm -hmm. about this. Two minutes. Ah. What? Two meters. Two meters, okay. two meters two, two not meters two again. minutes. Two yeah. meters, yes. Okay, so it's renewable only yeah. of this free throw. Okay. I don't think they obeyed the two meter rule anyway, but... Uh, mm. Opa! Quite nicely he swam in and it's still a danger. Yeah. One there. And there, here's the, 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 the goalie looking out. So you, we have to answer this question for the fans. Yeah. What, what is the advantage of playing this way? Yeah, I, I, I cannot really. This is something like the, the Central European. I, I don't see that much in Finland. No. Oh, the ball drops down. Still, we are in Peta's end. Strong defense there. No, really. Also, that dangerous I can exit. definitely say that. Uh, if you talk with the, these teams about why they lost that match, they will use that one mistake. Mm. Mm. One mistake, it's all mm. it takes, mm. and here's a goal. Mm. So they w they will never say we were outplayed. They will say mm. we we, were <laughs> we made one mistake. That's what they right, say. Right. Flipper is able to maintain the, the ball at the Betas end. Krilov's and now Beta it, has yeah. it, Krulov has it. 
swimming away from his own goal, passing to his teammate below and directly approaching the goalkeeper from above. Well, look, at that, look, look, at that, look at that. It was a danger moment for a moment there, yeah. there for, for Flipper. Still the ball is above the goal of Flipper. Now, Some of course, here, here is the thing that uh, uh, Niels, this is Funch Niels, mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, their scrum fighter mm -hmm. and he's very strong. So right, when, when they right. go up there and fight these scrums, it can become quite violent. Mm -hmm. So that can cause escalation and trouble. A really long pass. Yeah. But he got away with it. Yes. But now it's picked off. By a flipper, number 14. Rasmussen. Rasmussen. Mikkel Rasmussen, yeah. captain. He's one of the spirits of underwater rugby. Oh, yeah. look at that beautiful uh, yeah. teeth, tooth protection there. Yeah. Now they're going to track him off the off the bounce. Yeah. Who are they going to call this for? Yeah, then let's see, let's see. Maybe referee ball. Because the uh, the white. So it's free throw for blue out of the bounds. Yeah, Even though he was uh, shared blue. possession. Yeah. Yeah, and and basically. Basically, he was showing the referee that I don't have it, but it wasn't quite enough. No. What's up? I think with the out of bounds that the referee will favor the team that pushes the other team out. Yes, yeah. yes, certainly. Even though the, the you can't say who mm -hmm. really has the mm -hmm. ball all the time. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Some wrestling on the surface. There is one at least from the flipper side below waiting. The beta now has it. Oh. It was Juho Aldo, I think it was. And they swim him. They push. And Yalto Alto is a big guy. They're mm -hmm. pushing him back. Mm -hmm. He's got a better position. You look at his kicking. That's a lot of work to do that. Mm. But they got it. And now they're trying to go in on the goal. Okay. Another. I don't know how many. This is my fourth or fifth three. Yeah. So. After there are three attacks on the head, mm. they should say a team warning. Yes, yes. But they will, they will mm. not. Mm -hmm. They will not remember, mm. typically. But we'll see. Maybe they have talked about it. Mm. Well, they should. They should. There it is. Um, Jonas Funch Pulschen had the ball here yep. in the flipper side. The number four, Thor Lukke Funk, was there also. Funk is no, there is a scrum is there, scru the, the there scrum fighter. Yeah. There has been quite a bit of scrum now and again free yeah. throw. It comes underwater. It's free throw. Free throw. Standing on the edge. Standing on the free edge. Throw. Okay. So it's just for the audience. It's not allowed to stand on the structures or use any structures on the ball while you are while you are participating. You cannot put your hand on the ledge no, or outside no. or but while you don't have the ball, then it doesn't matter, or you're not fighting for the ball. So. Oh, crushed down on the bottom. 23. Grove. Grove. Swims all the way to the other side, very good, mm -hmm. then back again. That what Colombians did a lot to the youth games. Yeah. Swimming around. Nice. Nice pass in the front of the goal, but it may be a little difficult because there are so many blues, blues also. Uh, uh, good, good by uh, Slipper, they're doing what they want to do, but it's, it's uh Still difficult. they have the ball, yeah. So this is quite even, it's been quite even. We are now uh, six minutes gone. Um, it's been really even, no any danger moments really for none of the teams. Oh, now they got it. Better got it, now he's going to surface again, passing to his teammate below. There was some, he was looking to pass, but number 14 is following from, from Flipper very carefully. Number three, 
This is the Turkish guy, isn't he? Um, Shihan. Shihan, yes. He played really well earlier today. And that's uh, number 19, Hovi Gorpi. Very experienced Finnish, Finnish player. Rigon and here on the other side, another really Be experienced. Beta is a very uh, opportunistic team. They build the opportunity, they stri strike you very hard. There aren't any young boys in Petas team. They're no. all quite experienced. Played on this level already for, for a number of years. But I'm sure they all want to win this. this uh, uh in, that, in that respect, they have a boyish spirit. Yes, uh, yeah. yes, because they have not won it. Yeah. Certainly everybody wants to they want it, yeah. be a EuroLeague champion. But what we see from Molde today, it's going to be really, really difficult. It's going to be hard. It's going to be extremely hard. Now there is, you know, they... He was able to still pass. Still team. able. I, I but Slipper comes quite strong, so they are a bit of a, even even holding the control on that side was a little difficult for a moment. Now this chasing far away Barbie. from the goal, it's, it takes a lot of energy. It does. And, and uh, Flipper has to be, uh, you know, alarmed. Careful, yeah. Oh, that now Holmbeck is there. Holmbeck is here, number 15. His brother is uh, maybe injured now, I don't know. Yeah, he was before, I don't know, uh, at this moment. Yeah. I think he was, uh, in your interview, he, he said that he's going to train a lot and protect himself not getting involved with he this fighting. He, he, hurt his, he hurt his knee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was this, uh, how do you call this, like gauge fighting. He, he did right. That's not where he got injured. Oh, okay. I don't think. What, what was it where he got injured? I I think probably playing some harmless sport. I don't oh, know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. I can't remember, but I don't think it was a cage fight. Okay. Okay. No. Because in that sport, certainly you can get hurt. <laughs> it's a horrible sport. I you know. You don't like I it. I have I have hard time to even watch it oh. on television. So I don't really like. It. Too violent, in my opinion. But okay. And you're playing underwater rugby. Yeah, but this is you know water in non-violent so sport. Yeah. Whoppa. Now the flipper. So before I said one-one uh, shootout. And you could uh, guess. Maybe. Maybe. The the question is very hard to it's. How well are the new guys going mm -hmm. to play with right. with the right. beta and? But it's a really even game. It is uh, from one side to another. Again, now we are with at beta end. Let's see if Flipper is gonna be able to approach uh, the strong beta defense. Now there is no much beta players around, <laughs> so sort of Flipper gave them time to change and many of them came out now again one coming in Num number one went in for the better side it could that be also that they, they look for a particular situation where they said now we can go but mm. there aren't any weak players really mm. I mean everybody is experienced okay some people are a little smaller right but it's right. not like they're so there's one guy who is actually Rikon and number 70, but in on his jersey, it's number one. But he, he, he Rikon, Rikon is very experienced. He even is, yeah. certainly. I just, you know, the, the, the number on the jersey is wrong. He has played on the national team. Rikon yes, Rikon he has, yeah. yes. Some good wrestling going on. Flipper guys were, were able to really have it still. Oh. Good for checking from the better guy, Krulov goes in, grabs it. There has been quite, you say there's gonna be scrum, these better guys, they like it. It's, yeah. It seems to the flipper guys, they don't. They like it too. They like it too, so they don't get away with, uh, yeah. from those scrums. Still we are in the betas and now it's been more than a minute continuously uh, on on better side. I think there's Still some. Still they have it. Ball checking from flippers uh, doing some whole uh, pushing against players uh -huh. without the ball, and again we had a, like a longer, lengthy moment when we didn't see any four checking from Beta, so they sort of wait when they are closer to the goal. At least this time they did. Maybe it was because so many Beta guys were changing at the same time. 
this is holding this guy n number 28 David said he was holding the basket again there not allowed of course in the very good by flipper but here it is one player can go in tight he takes up two mm -hmm. players go with him yeah and a scrum again scrum again scrumalicious no it's been already a few minutes since free the throw the so the my the statistics is gonna be in ruin maybe I thought it's gonna be 25 free throws now we have I think five on beta against uh, Mausch there was a lot of free throws mm. that was a, I mean a season before. and again there is like a blue wall in uh, front of the goal I will have to say that flipper is outplaying them in mm. a lot of ways they're having more possession now they have more possession yeah. in the latest uh, last three minutes at least they've been and it's the two, half two and a half minutes to go yeah. first half zero zero still time is clicking away and beta moscow russia against flipper Copenhagen, uh, denmark davidson so you have to remember that these guys in Bolson. beta they're not practicing together they only meet for the the matches pretty much okay sometimes the, the Beta players will go to Finland to compete. Right, right. And then they play. Yeah. I hope that uh, in Russia they could, you know, train some new guys in. Oh. Yeah, oh, 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 that was maybe one of the best opportunities in this game. Is he holding the basket? It's at least his hands with this better goal. It were really strange. Mikko Rasmussen is. Uh, a very important player for the team, of course, the coach and veteran national team player. He has a lot of desire to, right. to, to win yeah. for the team. Now we are on Flipper's side. It was a good three minutes, four minutes, five minutes even in, in, in the Betas end. But now we are again to Flipper on the Flipper side. Um, now it's off delivers. Opa! guys diving in now does anyone know where's the ball the beta still has it they shouldn't really lose it in that way at least they held on held no. on yeah this is all the on the surface here's here's a great example that you cannot suck the guy in to mm -hmm. to grab him mm -hmm. he's too strong what and is he, he what is he wait no somebody help him <laughs> they got that him. was straight that was strange but that was strange. He just sort of waited somebody to come and make a scrum with him. Yeah. Well, this is the kind of thing that can lead to anger. Yeah, it is certainly. And injuries also. Yeah. Head to head. We are 20, minute, 20 seconds away from the half time. Last match of the day. Still one opportunity for Beta. I wonder if they know. They have a. They have a oh! How, how much this is they have a, a player in a good position. It. Suomalainen and taking some air. Yeah. Passing. No. Last chance. Of no. That's it. That was the first half, ladies Z and zero gentlemen. Zero. zero, zero. You should have kept your first guess. One, one. No, zero, zero was your first guess. It is. No, man, zero, zero was my. Oh, first, yeah, 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 first, yeah. The yeah. original one. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Uh, then you changed to one, one and, and penalties. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes, you're right. But. Uh, but still you are better than me. I said three to two for <laughs> Flipper. But it's nil-nil. It's interesting. Yep. It, it, well, I must say it was slower than I thought. It certainly wasn't faster than the dy most dynamic underwater rugby we've seen today. Um, it's like neither of the teams really wanted to. I think Flipper was more active, you know, in, in a way. To try to put something together around the goal. Yeah. Yes, and, and really trying and dynamically you know, moving the ball more and uh, diving more. Highlights. But the thing, yeah.
are back into business. He's very out. Kim uh, Henrik Kass in for Flipper. Mm -hmm. Henrik Koss. Yeah. Goalkeeper. But they didn't change. Uh, they didn't put Martin Shellgord in. And uh, any so changes. So it was Mr. Kim Isberry. He went out. He went out, and then um, uh, Henrik no, uh, Koss went in. Went in. And what about uh, Beta? Was there any change? I doubt. I doubt it. They keep the. Uh, Alexei Pryachnikov, he's shown that he's he's very, but he's not big. Mm. He's not a big guy. Mm -hmm. Maybe they feel they have to go mm. with. Uh, mm. Anton looks uh, pretty. Fitter than last season to me. He looks like he has been working out on weights at least. Right. I admire that about uh, Kulov. He's not sentimental. Like yeah. Right. If, if he recruits some players who are good, he'll take out his own, own old guys. Yeah. club players from before. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Whoever he thinks is best plays. It seems that there is no changes in the Petas lineup. At least uh, um, Jussila is not going in. No. Shuri, Shurshin is not going in. Shurzin. Shurshin. Yeah. For the audience also, I, I donated 20 euros myself already to this course. Oh. Uh, Anton, uh, uh, earlier they, he, he spoke with us, so they are going to produce a nice video on YouTube of all the highlights of all the matches and they want to the people the viewers to donate a little money for it yeah so these are professional people working in i think in moscow uh for this video and uh, they want to raise some money so please donate there is, should be a link on your youtube uh, uh channel yes there should be a link for a small donation maybe 20 euros 10 euros whatever you like please do so it goes for a good cause Number 10. So they have made a change here. Yeah, it's, it was the one they announced in the same change. Yeah. Well, we're, we're doing pretty well time-wise. So mm. they said, can we go like by 10 o'clock? And so right, right. we have a chance. Yeah. I'm not saying I want it to end quickly, but mm. it, it's nice that there haven't been so many fouls. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's last half time of the last match of the first day of the of second round. round. Right. Second round. <laughs> yeah. Whoppa! Here we go. Second half. It's bedtime blue, uh, flipper in white. Flipper was first to the ball. Yes, but, uh, it was actually Aldo was going for it, and I know he's an extremely fast film swimmer, so the, the flipper guy was really fast. Now number 13. Philip Mund. Philip Mund had it there. 21, um, Jonas Bolsen. Nice pass nice, back nice, over. Nice, yeah. nice one, yes. Number one. He's the guy who came in. Henry oh, they got the, 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 below the... Can they keep the ball down around the basket? They have to go over to the corner. They're doing, they're putting on some, taking some space. And now they get the ball in. Uh, Tim Jensen. It's the way that they're wrestling all the time, on the surface, underneath. Yeah. Roughing. Roughing, and it's free throw against <laughs> Meta in their own end, so it's a, a valuable free throw for Flipper. Uh, we'll see here the pass behind directly. They did. What was that? Philip Bunt was down. They, they had a set play there, really. Yeah. What happened? Why they called it off? 
Let's do it again. Again, something. What? What is this? Again, it comes un under what? Team warning. Two meter rule. Okay, Kaisa, she's really clear. If they if they crowd again, if they, they crowd will be again, it's the two, two minute minutes. minute. That's nice. Yeah. Nice in the way that it's clear for the players yeah. that they need to respect the rules. I'm not saying that it's nice otherwise, but okay, here we go. Flipper has it. They they, they uh, had to do two false starts though. Mm -hmm. Now they're fighting by the goal. So Flipper is the more aggressive team around the goal, and uh, if they manage to score. I think Beta will increase the pressure. They here. will, yeah. they, and they should. Actually, they should do it now without giving any goal in because yeah. uh, it seems that they they have hard times to get away from their own end. Yeah. Now, it's been already like like the whole, and now two of the flipper guys are swimming all the way back to chains in their own end. And still Beta not able to, to bring the ball out from their own end. Yeah. Basically, they, the, they played with four. And now again another flipper player swimming back. Well, he 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 comes all the way. That's like a what is it? 12 meter swim. Number 20 went in. Tim Jensen. The the whole first half it's like uh, two and a half minutes, and and flipper has been able to maintain the ball all the time in Betas end now. Yeah. It is not certainly good news for the Beta, e although they did not create any that dangerous moment no. yet. But, but that's uh, the logic of if again, you control... Again, resting and resting, this is so boring really. And if, now you, if you have possession, it can now lead to goal. Uh, yeah. Free throw, attack it on the head and it's 28 from... Uh, so from now, But now there's a situation that Beta has to be very careful to stay. Now you look at the distance they have uh -huh, now uh -huh. from the free throw. Mm. They don't want to get caught. They don't for want it. to get caught. Yeah. yeah. And the same pattern of play again: a handoff to behind and mm. a s mm. player going down underneath. Actually, recently we were playing in Ola. Look at oh that! Look yeah. at that! There is some opportunity. On both sides, there are now. Uh, Flipper plays Henrik Kaas here on this side. Something is happening. Something is happening. Okay, this uh, Turkish guy. Hakan Togar. He, he got it. He's very strong. Really strong. Look yeah. at those arms. Yes. Oh, he's, he, able he's, to he's a very good player. I think they have these two, two Tur Turkish guys. They have are in excellent physical condition. Yeah, uh, I mean. They train a lot. Chihan Kipir is a CrossFit athlete. Oh, okay. Yeah, lifting right. weights. Okay. He was kicked out of Ege, the club, mm -hmm. and he couldn't play underwater rugby regularly, mm -hmm. but he has other sports. Okay. That was a nice move from... Uh, and that's holding. holding. It was Rikonen, Riku Rikonen, he read well that pass and yeah. he, he actually intervened. So now it, it is going to be the first time that Betta has possibility after four, four minutes, four full minutes in this second half that they are on the, on the flipper end of the ball. Let's see. Yes, they have officially made it at least. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a long way to score if you are not you know, really. But they're able doing. To they're uh, very effective when, when they get a chance. They yes. Can score. Let's see. Let's see. Now there is actually a you alt approaching, yeah. leaving it backwards. Was there anyone from his own own side? Very, very a scry sort of wrestle going on. Beta still has it. It's with number six. Yuri Boyko had it for a moment, then again under under water. Close to the, the bottom. Uh, the forwards ca coming in from behind. Krylov has it now. It, that was an excellent moment. But they could easily be shouldered in the basket yeah, if they. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't yet, but it would. Aldo is be. trying to drag this guy out of the bounds. And Let's he see. will. No, no, they're not. Yet. He was fought, fought him back. Yes. 
fighting back for it pretty well. Yeah, he kick, kicked and pushed away. Again, out. they are in the scrum on the surface. Uh, you say that it's a, a boring match. I, I don't think... I wouldn't characterize it as, uh, as boring. I would say that it lacks the scoring... Momentum. The, the, the sco scoring, The scoring yes. element. Yes. I'm sure it would would open up. It would be a different game if but one of the teams. It's, it's not score. like they're not trying. They are yeah. making a big effort. So. Tim Jensen went in. Few of the flipper players are sitting on the on the floor. Uh, Look tired. Down to the bottom. Now's a break. There is a break from flipper. Opa, he's able to pass it still. Able. Is there anyone? Yes, there is one to help him. Another good pass. Now they should be coming closer to the goal. Trying to swim over and he's trying to still pass it, but it ends up in yes. the arms of of better player. It then was the surface. They were very much okay, but they get the ball back again. Yeah, they got uh, it back. Rasmussen. He gets it over Jensen on the outside, guarding the way. Whoppa, whoppa. Oh. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> well read by him. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. He should not handle the ball like that in these games. Yeah, but it's easy for us to say that. It is, it is easy. I know it is easy, but uh, still. He only had the, the ball for a fraction of a and second. But again, something holding. comes from free throw for holding. Time out for Team Blue, so it's time out for Meta. It's uh, eight and a half minutes left in the second half of the match, the final match of today. Meta in blue, Flipper in white. So our 10 o'clock uh, is looking dicey now. Yeah, it is. Maybe they're doing it uh, exchange. Okay. We have 114 viewers at this moment. Thank you for, for watching. Um, it's been a long day. Hope you have enjoyed the matches. Interesting matches. Uh, the, the last match, this may not be so entertaining until now, but hopefully we get one goal. Then it will be all different match. I'm sure <laughs> of it. Um, but it's an even match. Yes. We haven't seen this even match yet today. Well, the first was 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 one zero, wasn't it? So let me just repeat for the audience uh, the results okay. we've seen. Number eight. So there's been an exchange. So there's a change. Yes. yes. Uh, Sergei Leonov went out, and who did they send in? Sam Samuel. Uh, Samuel Yusila. Yes. Yusila. So let's see what it, what come out of it. I, I was about to say the, the results of today, but let's watch the game first and then look at the statistic on the history. Here we go. Everybody well. chasing Chihan Kipir down with the ball. Yeah. And he gets it. He does. And passes well it back. Played. And then back again. Is that Yusili now? Who is it? Four. Yes, number four, Yusila. That's right. Yusila. That feels good that uh, I can recognize people by the bo body without <laughs> seeing the number. <laughs> I mean, some people can do it more. Okay, Philip Munt. Yeah. No, is it? Now there is a um, flipper player took the position of the defender and then driving back number 15. It will be a holding call here. Or an attack on the head. Free throw blue, so it's for Beta again. Holding, yeah. Holding.
7 minutes 16 seconds. Oh, nice. Back again. Back again. That that was a good, well thought. Oh, and again and the in the Opa. It was still a, trying, still digging real, in, still digging real, in, uh, still yeah. digging in. Who is it? Oh, trying to. He, he, the, they could the goal was off, but he couldn't drop it in the basket. Uh, now they have they taken the basket. the basket. They have yeah. stolen it. Let's see, Yari Horvikorpi is yes. taking the basket. Yes, but there is scrum now and too many blues, I would say, on the surface at the same time, side by side. Oh, look at this. Wow. He threw it for himself, didn't Super. he? Super. Super nice move, but then the better guy got it, if he able to retain with it, yes. But Beta has changed the direction of the game now. They have. They have put so much pressure on Flipper. So if Beta scores, do you think Flipper can equalize? Um, possibly, yes, certainly. Yeah. Look at this, look at this. There is another. Now they are taking the goal There's again. Yeah. Where's the ball? Where is it? How much long? They, they have. They have really. Number eleven. It was Krulov who had it. Captain. Again, a free throw, and it's it's better. Free throw against Flipper. So I I would say the momentum has shifted now. It certainly has, and, and it seems that when Beta goes to the goal, they are stronger, closer yeah. to the goal. And Flipper has uh, given away the goal twice. They, they, they were able to stole it two times now within one minute or so, so. So let's see. Oh, that was nice. Nice pass, and again, the Turkish guy has it still able to pass. Oh, Opa! it's now shoulder in the basket. I think they could call the shoulder in the basket on that. Uh, referees are being too nice to Flipper now. Did you see it? No, I, di I wasn't yeah. watching for it, so uh, I didn't see it. But, uh, but I think really that... Uh, mm. Look at this. I, I, coming again, coming again. Now Betta has really a momentum in this game. And we Things are turned, five yeah. minutes left. Yeah. Thor, Hammer Nielsen on the surface and his mask came off there I think no again this scrum is on there the ball over pops over out flipper goal passing all the way down, down. Oh, nice, nice. One, nice one nice one nice two fast moves and they are away from their own side this is important now let's see if Petta is able to take it back at least not yet no, 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 no. no. That's moving. the excellent move by Flipper because swimming into the corner. Beta really didn't want to this down, happen, and yeah. then it's four and a half minutes left. So th this is the time when someone like Seymour Schaefer can change it, or uh, anything can happen. Yeah, and Beta has a lot of people who can score. They do Look at really. This. Number Jim 25, Holmbeck he goes to do the masking yeah. quite aggressively. Yeah, the swimming towards the defender. Now they end up on the, the surface. Beta has it. Now is there any teammate now to oh, carry the ball it away? Out. Okay. Taken by again, but again with Flipper. Rasmus, uh, no, who backing up Rasmus a little, yeah. maybe a wise thing to do, just to get the control back. Very nice to go all the way down into the corner. Mm. He gave the team a lot of time. So a shootout will be a very exciting finish also to this mm. match. It will. Yeah. So it's three and a half minutes left in this game. But still anything can happen really. And, and it is being so that once one team goes to on attack, they will stay there for quite a bit of yeah. time. Now this has been already but like Beta a had the better, the, the, the more dangerous Cer attacks. Certainly yeah. they have had good, better opportunities. But this is not the style that counts, it's just the, the, result, the yeah. result, the result, yeah. the goals. I would say that Flipper, I don't think that those guys want this to end the penalty shootout. No. They know that how strong uh, Beta is with it, so Flipper rather would like to see one, one goal and, and take, it, take it home. Let's see. Now, no. now they could, you know, a defender 
left from his positions. Really clever move. Where's uh, the ball? Where's the ball now, cameraman? Uh, here we go. Oh, Something is happening trouble, immediately, trouble immediately on the flipper yeah. side. Look oh, at that. Oh, there are so they, many yeah. better guys now. Yeah. No. I, no. I think the, the the other thing is that uh, if this kind flipper of flipper guys they come out and they're breathing, they are lying on the floor, on their knees, begging for air. <laughs> The, the likelihood of a penalty shot no. is also much higher when there's this kind of pressure. Someone will stick their shoulder in the basket. <laughs> yeah, but they get to scrum. It's on the surface. This is this Petta. Petta should get away from these scrums because every time they go to this scrum, it's a free throw for Flipper. Yeah. And it's one less than two minutes in the game. Yeah. That was a momentum that Petta really should have. They should avoid those scrums. It's a. Uh, and it's a timeout for white team, for Flipper. Maybe a clever thing to do, because I was seeing that some of their guys were very tired, really tired. Yeah. Both teams they want to win this one. And also for this sport, even though Underwood Rugby is perhaps not the major sport in, in Europe but it's it's nice to see that people from different countries come together and put up a good team uh, yeah, uh, yeah. so so you get all the best players playing each other it's important I mean historically it's unique the idea that you have a team that's got Russia Turkey mm. and mm. Finnish players R right and they have had Colombians mm -hmm. and Swede that's strange they've had many different yeah. people so these Colombians, did they come to Europe only to play the, in these games? Yeah. Or One guy had uh, uh, Ernesto Alto, he had his frequent flyer miles, so he came to play with Beta. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, I you know, so. coming from Colombia all the way no, for a few uh, games? I think he came from Florida, but he's co uh, Colombian American. Oh, okay, American, yeah. okay, okay, right. But American, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Colombian yeah. American. Yeah. Well, 157, and uh, is there any more pauses? We will won't make the, the 10 o'clock date, but I think we will be before 11. <laughs> before 11. Let's be positive. <laughs> okay, Philip Munt passes forward, or is it Munt? No, who was it? Good forward progress there. Still chances to. To score and so that was very good. That timeout helped. Uh, it helped them really. It helped mm -hmm. Flipper. I think so. As you said, they were tired. Look at that one yeah. to one for a moment. That was a danger moment for Beta. <laughs> who is gonna get it? It's the Beta player, and again, some holding. holding. Yep. And it's for Flipper. This is not good for Beta. It's still 1 minute 13 seconds. You see, here, here's how many holding calls should there be before there's a team mm. warning. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. Okay. 10? Should be less, though. I, you know. I'm not counting anymore. I don't know how many free no. throws there has been, but. Not as many as we thought. No, no, be, no. no. But quite some. Anyway, the, the one element of this that you can see is that attacking the goal is the creative part that they mm -hmm. want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So they are having, they enjoy themselves mm -hmm. the most when they're on attack at the goal. I think. Says on the data. Yeah. But I would still, you know, seeing this match between these two teams, I think Molde is still like uh, one step ahead. Yeah. Somehow I just think that these, these, both of these teams have troubles with, you know, winning, winning Molde. Rasmussen push, push the scrum under. Now they get the ball. Yeah, I think Molde is the favorite now. Really strong, nice. resting, strong resting by Bastian Davidson. Yeah.
Can he rip the ten ball seconds, free? Ten seconds. That's it. We are in the penalty shootout the first time today. Yeah. Zero, zero. You should have <laughs> kept your original guess, zero, zero. So, uh, but that was a good one. One if you we, changed if it. If we turn the paper upside down. Then. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, let's uh, repeat the audience the rules of the penalty shootout. Three, it's uh, three shots. Each team. Yeah. And then after that, a sudden death, I think. Yeah, one, yeah. one, one. one. So let's see who those three are going to be. I guess that Suomalainen is giving, Aalto is giving for Betta. Um, maybe the Tur one of the Turks, I don't know. Uh, then on the on the receiving side, I'm not, I don't know too well these the best goalkeepers in the. Krilov sometimes uh, Krilov. takes them. Okay, yeah. and then of course they have Holmbach who could also yes. take a shot, and then. Um, on the flipper side, Mund will will give one, right? Philip Mund. Could could be. We uh, Mikkel Rasmussen would be receiving, right? Yeah, could be. Then there is uh, Henrik Gars, who he could receive also. He came in. You as could a take substitute. a back. Or you could take a. F a Bolsen, goalie. Jensen. You have so many funk. A uh, funk is one of the. He's gonna give one, I think. So uh, it's it's gonna be interesting. Holmbeck is probably selected for sure. This is the mo maybe perhaps the most interesting way to end the day one. Yes. Because we didn't really see it. We didn't see it yet. I don't know today. if I can look. Sometimes I haven't been able to get online, but I will check the channel to see if there are any comments. People are asking any questions. So. Here we are. What are people saying? I didn't. I didn't see anything uh, that struck me right off. But now we have the penalty sh sh shot. Uh, by the way, Yanni, th this who is going to take the penalty shot as defending as a goalie, or who's going to shoot it? This is decided ahead of time. It should be. Should. Yeah. Yeah. So that you don't have a kind of mystery, mm -hmm. the players mm -hmm. are mentally prepared. Yeah. They know they're going to mm -hmm. do it. This is taking too long, though, I think. Mm. Yari, what are the. What are the copy? He's a goalie. He has really patriotic straps. It yeah. says Suomalainen voittaa aina. What does that mean? Uh, Finn always wins. <laughs> <laughs> and and he has uh, panda eyes, one black eye, one white eye. Mm. I don't know if that's just a broken and he replaced it way, but mm. he's a funny guy too. He has always this little smile mm. on his face, like there is a joke. What is it? <laughs> Come on now, let's go. Okay, they are throwing, throwing the go in. Who's okay. gonna go first? Rasmussen <laughs> 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 picks. 
No, so if, so that means that Beta gets to choose uh -huh. who shoots first. Yeah. Maybe they change the order of the players who shoot and defend, given how the coin Maybe. toss turns out. I don't know. They give it to the scorekeeper. The referees are having the final chat, you know, about the rules. Um, now, at least the players, they have been given a lot of time to get ox oxygen into the yeah, veins again. Absolutely. Okay, now we are starting. And it seems so that the first one to giving is Holmbach. Is it, is it number 15 from Jim Holmbach. Jim Holmbach. He's going to take the first Sean shot. Is Isberry is receiving yeah. it. He gets his fins out. Yeah. Good start. Good start for him. And he's got his hand up. He's wrapped him. He's got to. He's got to give up. He's got to go back to the basket. He does. That was a good choice. Good play. But uh, well. Holmbeck is on the surface, breathing. And uh, long 25 seconds to go. He's coming down from above. Second try. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What an unlucky. Oh no. He's got the ball. He can go up. He can go up. He can go up. Yeah. yeah. But still not able to raise the ball. Oh, he's got still it's, it still goes. He's got to hold on. It's three seconds. He so should drop it now and go yeah. back to the, the basket. Yeah, that's it. No, no, no. I'm not that sure. That was unlucky for Holmbach because he could, I think he just with his, uh, with he, his he leg, the kick. he yeah. kicked. He yeah. kicked it away. Holmbach was perhaps there, a there little careless. There could be an appeal here. Careless. Will there be an appeal, video appeal? No, uh, it shouldn't be. Alta says something, but I don't believe that it's not because because it was reachable distance to the ball for the goalkeeper, and he came with the ball up. Yeah, see, I have to him. do it again. Yeah. Why is that? Because he didn't have control of the ball when he got to the surface. Uh, the goalkeeper. Yeah. You mean? Okay. So we have to do it again. We need another blue. Player. Another another blue player. Not a control coming up. Okay, right. You know the rules better than I do. Um, yeah, but uh, the thing is, the question he is... He was not able to raise it up. Yeah, so the, the, the thing about it is, how much control did he have? Mm -hmm. So, suppose he had primary control, mm -hmm. then you might think it's not fair, really. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that's the way the referees are calling right, it. Right, right. So it has to be clear. Well... I think that's Un the way unquestionable control. That's the way they call it. Mm. I don't think there's any problem with this. No, no problem here, no problem here, no problem here. But here, uh, now, now they're asking if he got it above the surface, so they can have an appeal. Was it above the surface? It has to come all the way to the surface, but really? I think there is no camera that way, isn't it? Isn't it so? That checking it. It's again fair that we have this video and there is a chance to see what really happened. And I didn't see the ball coming out completely from the wall. So there is a video challenge. Yeah. So now he's still. That at that point they were close enough to the goal, right? Yeah. yeah. So now the question is. You can't see what happened, no. Here, the fight for possession became less clear. Both players have s strong possession, half half. 50 and 50. if the ball didn't come from the out from the water, then. But anyway, yeah, so he was not allowed to come on the surface. Without, but we couldn't see what ha how far the ball came up. Mm. But I don't think it came out all the no, way out. No, I don't think so. It has to come all the way, right? 
Uh, in my opinion, yes. In the underwater rugby, if, if it must come all the way up. It can be on the surface, exposed to the air still, but it, it doesn't count. It has to come all the way. All the way. So, uh, 11 was a better guess, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But uh, the whole thing is the discussion itself takes a lot of time. Yes, it does. So it gives uh, them a chance to rest. Now the other question is, should the, the uh, goalkeeper go into the penalty box? Uh, yes. Yes, in my opinion, yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the way they call mm -hmm. it, they should, they, he has violated the rules, mm -hmm. he should go to the penalty box. I think in this case our camera should be close to the players. It this should. is not it a should. Uh, it should. Okay, it was the favor of Flipper, number so it's ten. a right, number ten. penalty. So what happened? Did they they read they made a new judgment? What? Twenty one. Okay. So what did they rule? Well, I think it was not goal. I think they approved it because they, there is not a new shot. So it's 21 from from Flipper. It's Jonas Polsen. Funch Polsen. He's yeah. going to take a shot. So against. that means Flipper's winning now. Yeah. Okay. Who is receiving it? He's going in from above, down. He gets one ankle. He's trying to get under. 90. No, that is how we got to be. Yeah. Okay. So. He's got Hobby Corpy. He's working. He gets heart rate. Really strong guy, this Hobby got to be. Yeah. He's Look not going up for air, is he? Pop, 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 No. But. Uh, oh, that's it. He, he said it. Well, they cannot. They can challenge they, it again. They cannot I rule against. Uh, if they if they ruled already in favor of, of Flipper, mm. they cannot rule against. Mm -hmm. They are lifting the. Uh, Funchy, he they, passed they out. Something happened. Okay. He has a blackout. But that was even not to clo close to 45 seconds still. No. Maybe something with his feet. Well. You can ask the question: Why didn't he go to the surface? Yeah. To put you his. You can certainly yeah. you can ask this question. Okay, so it's zero zero after first two first shots, and this is like I said during the day. Penalty shots in underwater rugby are seven hundred percent more interesting than in football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Punch is okay. He's okay. He's disappointed, of course. Yeah. So it's blue number three. So we're even again. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, Kiper, Jihan Kiper, three, the Turkish seven. guy, giving it against who? Is it 14? Is it going to be Rasmussen? At least he's uh, sitting on the, on the side of the ball. Yeah. Again, he's yeah, telling control, something. But you need to have the ball on the control to throw. <laughs> so Rasmussen is... Uh, Are you the next keeper? <laughs> yes, it's Rasmussen against Jihan yeah, Kipa. Yeah. And this is uh, the matchup that these two guys know about. They have a rivalry. Okay. They want okay. to do this. Okay. Here we go. Interesting. Rasmussen one. told me Jihan Kipa wants to score on me. Okay. And now he has Good. a chance. Good. Rasmussen goes and really strongly, really, really strongly trying to take it. He go back to the basket. Yeah. Now. The Turk, he should take some air now, he has a chance. But he's just on it. And it's yeah. in the Beautiful one. Strong one. Yeah. Amazing, you say. Who could save? Yeah. He's good. He's good. Yeah. There is no goalkeeper saving that sort of thing. Well, the, the thing it's about so the Chiankipe, he he's not losing the ball, right? Yeah. So. The next one. Who is he? He's number uh, 11. 11. That's uh, Krylov. Krylov. And who is going to be for... It's going to be number 4. Thor Funk. Yeah. Luke Funk. 
Okay, we we we, this, we this thought he's he, he would do it and uh, this is a good matchup also because yeah. of Funk he's uh, very strong and he can muscle muscle out. He he won't lose the ball, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, but oh, he does. Pop, it's pop, over. Pop, 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 oh, pop, pop, unfortunate, I'd say. What happened? What happened? On the bench. Another one. Did he has his? Uh, Did he kick him or? What happened? They put uh, Krulov to the bench. Penalty box. Penalty box. What I, was I didn't see anything. Why? What was it? I couldn't. But they will video challenge that one. Krulov says he doesn't understand why he was. It was very fast, though. It was fast. Was it a headshot? That's one possibility. This is a video challenge. It, this is interesting. Actually, it turns out to be the most interesting penalty shot, obviously. Okay. What do you want exactly to see? Okay, kicking the ball. Kicking the ball. There's nothing wrong with kicking the no, ball. No, no, there is nothing. What, what is the wrong with kicking the ball? Why do they want to feel a video challenge for kicking the ball? Well, they thought it hit, kicked him kick in maybe the hand. Ha hand. Then, then okay, it could yeah, be illegal. Yeah. What is it? Okay. But did that's he kick that, him? That is a legitimate uh, reason to... Because he kicked. Yeah, he kicked. Just right. kicking. But it's, not kick, it's not kicking the ball. Kicking. Hmm. You cannot kick. Certainly you can kick the ball. But he didn't kick only the ball. Okay, that's another thing. Then what, what did he kick? Bam, maybe the hand. That's the reason why he lost it so fast. On this angle, it's really difficult to say whether he's kicking only the ball or also the hand. Oh, it was... Uh, at that point, it's not interesting. It's only the kick that matters, you see. Bam! Then it comes loose. I think... He, I mean, we can't see, but maybe he kicked his hand. But, but now, the, the referee, they cannot see that either. Mm. So... But uh, if I had to, you know, if I had to say that he did not kick his hand, but they need to see, there must be evidence. If they don't see kicking the hand, they cannot, you know, rule. On yes, it. you're right. And I couldn't see him kicking the hand. Because we couldn't see. Because we couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. It's not, maybe it's not fair, but it's, it's the right technical. Legitimate. Yeah, yes, it's legitimate. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm sure the uh, referees hope that they have more angles. But they, the, the referee can imagine what they saw. <laughs> no, they cannot, you know, make No, no, it, make I mean, up. to go back, yeah, yeah. That what did I, did I see? But they didn't yeah. call it at the time. No, they certainly no. did not. So. Difficult uh, to be a referee, not easy. Not easy. I, w I would say I, I agree with you, your analysis that there was no evidence that was clear. Mm. And maybe there has to be. Yeah, maybe he only kicked the ball. Yeah, maybe. And then it's, in which case it's perfectly okay. Yes. Just yes. like punching the ball. Yes. You punch the ball. You didn't punch the player. All right. It's like in the in the in the uh, you know in the court of law. Yeah. You, if you murder somebody, there must be some evidence. <laughs> Not that you, you know, went in the same there's building. A, there's a dead man and, <laughs> a, and, and the person smoking had a, gun. And a smoking gun, but he... He never held the gun. We never saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one of the best referees in the world now negotiating this. So we must rely on their wisdom and experience. <laughs> so let's see how it's going to be. Interesting. This is also a learning process for ourselves too. Yeah, well... We don't know what they remember, but they, they didn't call it at the time. So they did not. Yeah. No. So how could they now remember that? Yes, they actually <laughs> gave the guy. <laughs> yeah. So let's see how it's going to be now. But as far as the score goes now, so how many shots have been taken? Three, isn't it? Uh, they failed both first and then another, another failure. Yeah, three. So this is the fourth so one. Was this the fourth one already? 
Yes, no. this was one one goal, one goal for yeah. better, of course. This Turkish. Jihad Kipir Jihad, scored. Yeah, he, he scored. But really, he really had not his hand like this either. It was little like open. He got sort of like exposed the ball also. I th I think that probably he made contact with his probably, arm yes. or hand. I, I, I but agree. we could not see it. Mm -hmm. There is no so evidence. There is no proof. No, there is no proof. Except you could do forensic, but th mm -hmm. this is uh, something else. I wonder how many viewers there are watching now. There was like 120 a few moments ago. 117. Okay, great. Thank you for watching. Now, of course, it's getting boring. 141, I updated it. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, you guys watching this uh, don't get bored. Now there is negotiating. Anton Churchin is uh, talking to the main referee. It seems that it's going to be ruled as a fault of the of the goalie. Really? At least uh, Anton is uh, shaking his head in a way that... Let's see. But we don't know what the conversation was. No, we oh. don't. But is there like... You know, well, in my opinion, there shouldn't be any... If they are not sure, let's do it again. That's that's wrong. That's no. wrong that's also. Wrong. If the referees are not able to define whether there was so a we fault. Yes, we continue. So this is the final shot now. And there is another another one, Funk coming again. So it seems that they're going to renew. Yeah, make it again. Okay, interesting. Here we go. No he's kicking this time. Yeah, at least. he's going down. Is it Jarvik? Number 13. Who is this? Oh, he's lost control lost of the basket. Yeah. That's it. That's it. 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. That was 13. It was Suomalainen who received it. Yeah. He didn't play badly, but uh, Funk did it so well. Uh, Funk got him off the basket. And once that happened, you could be sure mm. it was a big risk. Blue play, blue player. Now this blue is the final player. chance, right? Fate. Number three on the list is him. <coughs> That's him. Now it's 1-1 one, one and this, this is going to be... Um, someone else. Someone else, says Kaisa. Okay. Number, six. Number six is going to aim for Beta. Number six, who is he? Okay. Yuri Boyko from Beta is going to take the shot and it's received by number 17 Philip Lauritsen okay. yes. I think Boyko is uh, very good he's very good Wapa, wapa, very effective one. nice move you were right he was really effective it looked like an easy task yeah and now, actually, it's going to be number two from uh, Flipper giving it. Simon Schaffer. Schaffer, you, have, you, you know the guys. <laughs> so if he doesn't score, it's going to be better's game. Yes. He, need, he needs to score now. Okay. Here we go. And receiving this penalty is who? It's uh, again Hovigorp, isn't it? Yes. It is. He's underneath. No. Up, 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 up. A strong one, and he does score. Yeah. So it's even numbers, two, two. So we go to sudden death, yeah. so to say. The guys are but shaking their Boyko hands. scored so easily, but Schaefer was quite careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was careful. He was really strong. Horvath Kopi is a tough guy. He's a tough guy. Yeah. I think he played for Finnish national team already. Yeah. Like a decade or so. Number 10 is receiving it from Fipler. So it's Kim Isberry. So it ends now. If, if, if they score, it's over, right? No, there is no. 10. Fipler uh, has the chance. Uh, one chance, okay. 
He's better. And it's 11, so he's it's... He's got to get back onto the basket. Krulo, he's big shoulder Krulo. in the basket. He spins around. Krulov has got it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. How it's going to be? Now, Oh, he dragged him one. up. Now he's got to put the ball above the surface. But it and drops down. It's okay. Down. But he must go back to the... And it's, it's a go. It's a go. Great fight. Great fight. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many seconds there was. <laughs> the referees are asking Krulov is still, still alive. <laughs> still breathing. Good. That will be a great so, highlight. Yeah. So again, uh, uh, again, Flipper is uh, back against the wall. It's going to be number 14. Mikkel Rasmussen, the captain himself. Yep. He received already one penalty. And Second now chance, he's yeah. It's the same matchup as before. Yeah. She had Kipir against Kipir, Rasmussen. yeah, he's okay. Kipir is receiving it. Oh, this yeah. is so interesting now. Yeah. Yes. Let's see if uh, Chihar and Kipper is the great guy, the great Turk, the Turkish pepper for the day. And you see, if he, he if he, if he, if he, if he, if, if he can prevent the goal here, he he will be the uh, the man of the day. Yeah, certainly. I don't think uh, Rasmussen will go up for air. We'll see. He's got longer arms, so he gets down below. Yeah, yeah. And Good footwork, which we he's trying to get the neck grip. Well, yeah. Opa, yeah. that's it. A good one, strong one. He's a bigger guy. So uh, again, yeah. another pair. I'm, I'm yeah. telling you, we're living, we're leaving at 11. So it's five times yeah. given now. Five pairs, and we are still even. Uh, sudden dead. So it's two shots, one for each team, and now we are even numbers three three. Next round, yeah. and it's gonna be number ten from uh, Beta. So Hakan Togar is gonna give the shot. And Lorenzen will defend. Lorenzen. Yeah, Lorenzen. No, this is not. No, sorry, I was wrong. It's what was not. It's number thirty, isn't it? Alto. Beta from the. Who is number thirty? Or is it? Is it ninety? Which number is that? Okay. What is that number? I think it's Alto. It's you Alto. But it's the wrong cap. Yeah, it's Alto. 17 in yeah. his pants, yes. He's you Alto. But now the... It's wrong. You shouldn't go up with him like that. No. No, the, the goalie has to go back, right? Yes. He, he shouldn't have then gone up so high. No, he could already no. be disqualified. No. But they will let Alto shoot Cameraman, out the way. He's oh, Alto well, yeah. makes it. Okay, third time, third time. Flipper is against the wall here, and now it seems that number two or twenty-eight. Number twenty-eight is gonna. He's gonna give it. It Bastian Davidson. Yeah. Looks like he's gonna take the shot, and on the defensive side, who is him? Jare <laughs> Horvikot again. Again. <laughs> is it? Yeah, so it seems. I, I didn't Can't see, I just guessed. Yeah, yeah, it is Hobby Gorpi. But it isn't, isn't against the rules that you can use so many times the same place. Why not? You can. And you can shoot and defend. So indeed, it is Hobby Gorpi for the third time, isn't it? Now? <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh, I'm impressed that I guessed without even seeing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the game. Well, I, I've seen these guys play for six years now. Right. <laughs> so trying to. And Jan uh, Hork has got him pinned up. He's got him away. It's very good. Yes. Yes. But he's he didn't up lose too air much here. Uh, Hovigorpi really didn't have to fight with all his strength. There's less time left on the clock mm, than. 18 showing. seconds. Yeah. So uh, now, final 10 seconds. Yeah, Seven. He, he needs to get underneath six, him. Five, four, no, three. He's going to miss it. Two, one. He's going to go to miss it. <laughs> Beta side is really happy with this decision. Yeah.
And that's it. That was the end of the game. They should have scored, they did not. Kobe Korpi is the guy, the big guy. Beta is happy. Flipper is certainly disappointed. Well, they played well. We don't have time to interview Yari Hordvikorpi, or can we do it with just a phone? Maybe I would do that. Well, maybe we could do it. Maybe if I could do it. I don't know. But we have to go to... to yes, yes, we need to but go. But we can, we can just go down with the phone. Thank you very much for watching. We'll go down with our telephone. With our phone. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock German time, yeah. we have the first game. It's going to be Malsch against Krefeld, so it's an all-German game. 9 in the morning. Thanks for watching. This is European Underwater League. Uh, goodbye for today.